Did you know that basic cell biology can help you read ANA IFA patterns? Or that you can simplify reading ANA IFAs by breaking it down into three steps? First, you need to understand cell cycle and mitosis. Hi, I'm Jerry Seiki, autoimmune technical trainer for BioRad Laboratories. As a cell goes through different phases during its life, the term cell cycle is used to describe the phases. Mitosis is the time in the cycle when the cell divides. Everything else is interphase. Interphase is often called the resting phase. It's the time between cell birth and when the cell divides again. Most of the cells that you see on the slide are interphase cells, and most autoantibodies are directed against cells in interphase. Metaphase is the part of mitosis or cell division where the chromatin is highly condensed and aligned in the center of the cell. Cells at metaphase are ideal for dividing cell pattern identification because they have a distinctive appearance that is easy to recognize. So let's hold on to this information and simplify reading ANA IFAs by breaking it down into three steps. Step one, scan the entire well and check for cell distribution, cell morphology, and the uniformity of fluorescence. Step two, find the appropriate reading area, which is usually one to two fields of view from the center but away from the edge. Remember, this is the most important step. Determine whether the specimen is positive or negative. In other words, if you don't see a clearly discernible pattern in the nucleus of the interface cell, then the ANA IFA is negative. The screening magnification for HEP2 substrate should be determined in each laboratory based on the light source and optics of the microscope. 200 times total magnification is recommended. A positive is when you read a 1 plus fluorescence in the nucleus of your interphase or resting cell. This is the lowest specific fluorescence that enables the staining of the interphase nucleus to be clearly differentiated from the background fluorescence. Once you determine your ANA IFA is positive, then you grade the fluorescent intensity or the level of green using a reactivity scale from 1 plus to 4 plus. Step three, switch to a higher magnification. A 400 total magnification is recommended to confirm the pattern. Remember, you're looking at the staining pattern in the nucleus of your interphase or resting cell and the chromatin region of your metaphase or dividing cell. The tendency is to overread when attempting to perform an ANA IFA. Try to keep reading simple. Thanks for watching and please visit our YouTube channel and see other videos in the Autoimmunity IFA video series. BioRed contact information is in the comments below. Please let us know what you think and what topics you'd like to see in the future.